Young and the Restless Promo May 15th, 19th, Phyllis' Downfall Begins, VIDO Young and the Restless, spoilers, see Phyllis Summers on the verge of being caught in this week's new video promo for the CBS daytime drama. Plus, other Y&R storylines intensify this week. This is a transcript of our new Y&R video on the promo that teases Phyllis Summers' downfall, video down below. Check out all our Soap Spoilers podcasts here, and be sure to follow us on YouTube as well. Hey there, Young and the Restless fans. This is Soap Dirt on YouTube, and we've got a brand new Y&R promo to talk about. We're going to tell you what you're going to see. We're going to link it to the current spoilers, so you know the context of everything that's happening. And then, we're going to show you the new promo, so you can get excited for what's coming the week of May 15th through 19th on Young and the Restless. So the upcoming weekly promo for Y&R has three scenes. And of course, they're all front-burner storylines. The first scene is Audra Charles with Nate Hastings. Of course, he's just fresh off this split. There's stuff happening. So Nate tells Audra, We're helping each other, and we have to trust each other to get what we want. And he says to her, I know exactly what you want. The second scene is people that you don't always see together. And it's kind of interesting, especially considering the storyline this relates to you. That is Chelsea Lawson and Daniel Romilotti. And Chelsea asks him, Hey, what's going on? When she sees him outside of Crimson Lights. Daniel says, I'm waiting for some bombs to explode. Then the third young and the restless scene is Jack and Kyle Abbott. And they are at the Notel Motel where Phyllis Summers has been hiding out. But she's not in the room. And they are being very careful not to leave fingerprints. And Jack looks around and says, I don't know what we're looking for but we'll know it when we see it. So, what is all this about in the context of the spoiler? So, of course, with Audra and Nate, there's a lot going on here on Young and the Restless. And what's funny is Nate's talking about helping her get what she wants. And he says he knows what she wants. I don't think he knows what she wants. Because what she wants is Nate Hastings. And he seems to be completely in the dark about that. He sees her as ambitious at work but I don't think he's done the math on her ambitions about her personal life. But the bottom line is Audra's being extremely clever. She wants Nate, and she wants to get ahead, and she is using these women against each other, and she's doing it masterfully. Plus, the best thing is Nate's also clueless. She's playing all of them like a trio of fills, and Nate wants power, he wants success, he wants to feed his ego, and Audra is probably good for that. That's why Tucker McCall kept her around all these years. But it's just funny when Nate says he knows exactly what she wants because I don't think he does, but he might find out soon on Young and the Restless. So, to this scene with Chelsea and Daniel. Daniel Romilotti has been in a snit since Summer told him that their mom is alive, that she killed Jeremy, and that she set up Diane. Daniel went off on his sister about the fact that she is leaving Kyle in anguish. Worried about his mother when his mother didn't commit these crimes. It was all set up by Phyllis. Meanwhile, Summer went home and doubled down on her bad, bad behavior, laying into Diane and treating her like garbage on Young and the Restless. When she knows this is all Phyllis's fault, and she is trying to rationalize this, she's drunk the Kool-Aid that Phyllis Summers poured her, and she is kind of brainwashed at this point in denial. It's all going to blow up. So Daniel, at the end of this week on My and R, decides he wants to try and do the right thing. But at the same time, Daniel's trying to protect Summer from herself and protect Summer's marriage. So he gets together with Kyle, Jack and Michael Baldwin and tells them that he's the one who saw Phyllis and that she is alive. And that she killed Stark in self-defense when their scheme went bad. And that's what leads into this third scene with Jack and Kyle. But as we see, Michael is not ready to take this to Christine yet on Young and the Restless and Daniel is trying to answer things in a way that won't implicate Summer. And when Kyle wants to tell Summer, then Daniel's trying to talk him out of it. So he's trying to clean up Summer's mess for her, and also clean up Phyllis's mess. And when Chelsea Lawson asked him what's going on, and he says, waiting for bombs to explode, we'll have to see if he opens up to Chelsea. Certainly, Chelsea has no right to judge anybody in Genoa City, and she might be somebody good for Daniel to open up to. And then our final scene, when we have Jack Abbott and Kyle at Phyllis's motel room, and they are looking for something to get the goods on Phyllis. 
to prove that Phyllis is alive so they can get all the charges dropped against Diane. The question is, what might be in that motel room that could help her case? Maybe some evidence that Jeremy Stark was there with Phyllis. Maybe those bloody scissors, if she didn't throw them out somewhere. Perhaps her bloody hoodie that she had when she dragged his corpse out of the room. There's really no telling, but there should be some sort of proof of life there on Young and the Restless. And Jack and Kyle are trying not to leave fingerprints because they want to be able to call Chance and send him to the hotel to discover things for himself. But first, they have to figure out what's there that could help Diane Jenkins. So it'll be very interesting as all this plays out next week, when we're on the cusp of Kyle finding out that Summer lied to him and left his mom in Gia Party. It's hard to see how their marriage is going to survive this crisis that Phyllis has caused. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay with us.